Unveiling the Biblical Prophecy, The Roles of Russia and Ukraine Exploring the potential links between modern-day Russia, Ukraine, and biblical prophecy opens a fascinating discussion. Many scholars and enthusiasts delve into ancient scriptures, seeking connections to contemporary geopolitical events. This quest not only enriches our understanding of biblical texts, but also offers a unique lens to view current international relations. Understanding the geopolitical landscape of Russia and Ukraine requires a deep dive into their historical context. The region's tumultuous past, filled with conflicts and alliances, sets the stage for interpreting these nations' roles in potential prophetic scenarios. This historical backdrop is essential for contextualizing their contemporary significance. The role of Gog and Magog in Ezekiel's prophecy has intrigued scholars for centuries. Some argue that these ancient names may symbolize modern Russia and Ukraine, suggesting a prophetic significance to their current geopolitical strife. This interpretation sparks debates about the relevance of biblical prophecies in today's world. Analyzing Daniel's visions, some scholars identify the King of the North as potentially representing a modern leader or nation, possibly linked to Russia or Ukraine. This speculative connection invites further scrutiny of ancient texts for insights into current and future events. The Scythians and Rosh are traced by some as having links to contemporary nations, including Russia and Ukraine. This connection attempts to bridge ancient biblical names with modern countries, suggesting a continuity of prophetic relevance from past to present. The Battle of Armageddon, as foretold in biblical prophecy, hints at a significant conflict involving many nations. Scholars speculate whether Russia and Ukraine's current tensions could escalate, positioning them as key players in this end-time scenario. The exact roles remain debated among theologians. In the web of prophecies, the identity of the King of the North has intrigued many. Daniel's vision suggests a powerful leader emerging from the North, leading some to connect this figure with modern-day Russia or Ukraine. This theory aligns with their geographic and political stance. Tracing the lineage of ancient names to present nations is a complex task. The mention of Gog, Magog, and Rosh in Ezekiel's prophecy has led some to associate these names with contemporary Russia and Ukraine, suggesting a historical continuity of these nations into prophetic fulfillment. Speculation about the Antichrist often involves identifying a charismatic leader with a global influence. As tensions between Russia and Ukraine have grown, some wonder if these nations' leaders could embody the characteristics of the prophesied Antichrist, influencing end-time events. The Great Tribulation, described in prophecy as a period of unparalleled turmoil, raises questions about Russia and Ukraine's involvement. Their strategic military and political positions could make them central figures in the unfolding of these prophesied global upheavals. The Great Tribulation, as foretold in biblical prophecy, hints at tumultuous times ahead, with some scholars suggesting Russia and Ukraine's involvement. These nations, rich in history and conflict, may play pivotal roles in unfolding end-time events, aligning with scriptural predictions. The Valley of Dry Bones prophecy, often interpreted as a symbol of national restoration, could intriguingly be linked to Russia and Ukraine. This connection raises questions about their roles in the prophetic timeline, possibly indicating a future revival or significant transformation. In the book of Revelation, the seal, trumpet, and bowl judgments describe catastrophic events affecting the entire world. Russia and Ukraine, given their geopolitical significance, might find themselves at the center of these divine interventions, experiencing profound impacts. The New Jerusalem represents the ultimate fulfillment of God's promise, a place where peace reigns. For Russia and Ukraine, this could mean a future beyond their current strife, integrated into a divine plan that promises reconciliation and healing. Prophecy scholars offer diverse interpretations regarding Russia and Ukraine's roles in biblical prophecy. These varying perspectives enrich the conversation, encouraging believers to explore the complexities of scriptural prophecy and its implications for modern geopolitics. The importance of watchfulness cannot be overstated when it comes to Russia and Ukraine. As events unfold, believers are encouraged to stay alert, interpreting these developments through the lens of biblical prophecy to discern the times we live in. 
Spiritual warfare is a reality that surrounds the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, though it remains unseen. This invisible battle involves principalities and powers beyond our physical realm, emphasizing the need for spiritual discernment and prayerful intervention. The call for peace in the Russia-Ukraine conflict is deeply rooted in biblical teachings. As followers of Christ, the pursuit of peace transcends political affiliations, urging us to seek reconciliation and harmony in accordance with God's will for humanity. Prayer and prophecy are intertwined, especially concerning Russia and Ukraine. The power of intercession cannot be underestimated, as it has the potential to change hearts, influence leaders, and possibly alter the course of history in alignment with prophetic revelations. The role of the Church in mobilizing believers regarding Russia and Ukraine's prophetic place is crucial. It serves as a beacon of hope and guidance, encouraging the faithful to engage with these events prayerfully and with a deep understanding of biblical prophecy. In a world where current events often seem to echo ancient prophecies, analyzing Russia and Ukraine through a biblical lens offers a unique perspective. Scholars and believers alike scrutinize these nations' roles, seeking signs of the times that align with scriptural predictions. This approach intertwines faith with geopolitics, suggesting that every headline might hold deeper prophetic significance. As we navigate the uncertain waters of international relations, the intersection of faith, prophecy, and geopolitics becomes increasingly complex. The future of Russia and Ukraine, when viewed through the prism of biblical prophecy, remains a subject of intense debate and speculation. It is a reminder of the enduring quest for understanding in a rapidly changing world.